My name is Aidan Bryant. I'm a computer engineering student here at UMaine, and I have the world record for solving a Rubik's Cube in the fewest number of moves. I'm currently in my third year. Um, I grew up in Virginia, but I moved up to Maine um, right after my ninth grade year in uh, high school, um, and now I live up here in Orono. Uh, so the last couple years I've been involved in some undergraduate research. Um, one project was with like drones and uh, teaching high schoolers how to use drones and use them for like um, community science projects. And then the other big one um, was high altitude ballooning um, in the electrical and computer engineering department, um, where we send large uh, scientific balloons um, up like 100,000 feet in the air with various instruments to measure different things. Um, and the big project with that was the uh, total solar eclipse last year, where we uh, live streamed video of the moon's shadow moving across the Earth. With engineering in general and uh, cubing in general, the main overlap is just like trying to figure out how to solve something. Um, there's a lot of similarities there with like twisty puzzles in general, um, especially fewest moves because the whole event is just kind of like a puzzle trying to um, figure out what the best way to solve something is. So I started um, all the way back in like 2017. Um, I think my brother got like a standard Rubik's brand cube and I looked up a tutorial on how to solve it. Um, and after learning how to solve it, um, I kind of got very into it and tried to improve my times. And there's always something to improve uh, with speed cubing. The three by three has different events. So you've got normal speed solving, um, which is like solving a normal three by three cube. And then there are other like different variations of that event. Uh, for example, like solving it one-handed. Um, there used to be one with solving it with your feet. Um, blindfolded solving. And then the one that I got the world record in, which is fewest moves. Um, so all these different variations kept me interested because there's always something new to do. Probably a bit after, like around 2020, was maybe when I started uh, getting into fewest moves, um, which is quite a bit different than normal speed solving, because with normal speed solving, you know, you're trying to do it as fast as possible, but with fewest moves, you have a whole hour, and you're trying to be as efficient as possible, so there are a lot more tricks and uh, things that you can do in fewest moves that aren't necessarily viable for normal speed solving. So going into this competition, um, the world record uh, was 16 moves, 16 moves single. So that was the best single solve achieved in a competition. And this was done by one person back in 2019. So it was a while ago. Yeah, like 10 to 15 minutes into the solve where I actually stumbled across the 16 move solution. It was a pretty surreal experience because uh, it was completely unexpected. There was, a, there, was, there was like 45 minutes left of the attempt where I just like had to kind of sit there being quiet, keeping it in. Um, and then finally, after the attempt, I, I could, uh, you know, be excited about it and stuff like that and like post it online and stuff like that. I've been, I've been able to like incorporating speed queuing into a lot of my engineering projects. Um, so I mentioned before, just like, um, you know, programming stuff to like calculate statistics on certain things um, or like making a virtual like twisty puzzle simulator where like, you know, you control a virtual cube with like the keyboard and different projects like that bring kind of my interests together.